today we're going to look at retiming generators using Final Cut Pro 10. So here we are, I have this generator I created in motion and all I have is just clouds going by like that. And if I drag the end of this generator because I didn't, the way I have it built in motion, is that it just speeds the clouds up. So I'm still getting every frame of that generator, just the clouds are going by a lot faster than what I want. Um, so let me actually just undo that. And what I really want is have the clouds come in and then slow down like this and then maybe pause and then speed up again. So the only way to really do that, other than going into motion and retiming it, is creating a compound clip. So I'm going to select the generator and do Option G to create a compound clip. So now that it's a compound clip, it acts just like any video might. So now I can do Command R to retime, and I've got my retiming shelf. And if I drag the end of it, well, that's exactly like I was doing a minute ago, and it's retiming the entire clip where I've got my clouds going faster. So I'm going to undo that. If I drag the end of it now, this time I'm dragging and I'm losing frames. And you can tell I'm doing that because my speed is not changing. My clouds are still going by just as fast. If I double click the compound clip, I'll go inside of it and you can see the entire generator here. And you can see my out frame is here. So this is the last frame of the video that I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna go back out of it and I'm gonna extend this out so I can see every frame in my generator. And I'll know it's the last frame when it's that red, the last frame turns red. So I can't pull any further than that. So I'm gonna to go to Command R and maybe right about here, I'm gonna do Shift B to blade speed. And you can also do that under the little pop-up menu here, blade speed or Shift B. So now that I've cut the speed here, I can click and drag and have that go really, really fast. So now we can see it's really fast and slows down. I also have this little handle here and I can extend out and that's the transition between the speed change. So it's going really fast to normal and it's slowly slowing down to the 100% speed here. So let's just say right about here I wanted to just pause on that frame right there. Well that's shift H to hold and it sets a hold and I can extend the hold frame as long as I need. Now remember, if I double click the compound clip, I've got the entire generator here and I can replace this and all my speed changes are remain because it's inside of the compound clip. So if I needed to update this generator in motion, I can replace it inside of this compound clip. So now it's going by and then just pausing on that frame and then it comes back over here and continues on. Well now I want to add a transition to the hold frame right here so I can slowly ramp up from zero to the hundred percent or whatever I have over here. So if I come to the retiming button here I have the speed transitions and notice it's checked and it's checked because there's already a speed transition on the clip over here. So if I uncheck it it removes the speed transition. Well that's fine because I could just go back and choose speed transitions again and now everywhere there's a speed change it puts the speed transition and I can extend it on either direction if I wanted to. So now let's play it. So it starts from paused and then it slowly ramps up to the speed that I want. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more, visit johnbelew.com. I'll see you next time in the edit room.